it actually started um, the whole story of crocheting when I came to the United States in 2000 and I was asked to make a costume for a dance company. It was a very natural transition, I think, because from costumes I went into sculptures, from set design I went to, into installations. I didn't plan to do what I'm doing. Somebody asked me to do an installation in a gallery and I'm like, okay, I can do it. And that's how we started. The Wall Street Bull was kind of my, in a way, that was one, my, my first big piece. So, well, the bull I did um, to highlight the moments that were happening in that time in 2010 when we were like still experiencing really, you know, really bad, you know, depression and everybody was complaining about how bad the economy is. So, in a way, I thought I'm gonna cover the Wall Street Bull over Christmas night, during Christmas night. It took me four hours to do it, and I had uh, big pieces made, but I still had to add more when I was there. And it also was very, very cold, so crocheting was really difficult. Like It took me longer than it would take me if I were doing this right now here in a warm gallery. The preparation takes forever also. You have to remember that I have to actually sit in my studio and physically crochet all those pieces. The story about the show started really when I was in Brazil last year. And yeah, I did a tattoo there. And the way this tattoo influenced my choices for the show, the idea of mermaids and ships and some gold pieces they can find on the bottom of the sea and ocean, kind of like a, a fairy tale that I invented. I think all my pieces, in a way, are fairy tales.